Hello there students, welcome back to this video series. This is your instructor Dhruvi Bhatt and today we would be talking about an important topic which is ethical dilemma. In the previous lecture we understood what is meant by engineering ethics and why is it so important to study engineering ethics. How as a professional engineer you would be maintaining ethics in different areas of life and different areas of businesses and while maintaining this ethics you will come across some of the ethical dilemmas where you would be required to make certain moral choices. How you will do so? Do not worry. I am here to teach you that. In today's lecture, we would understand that what is meant by a moral dilemma and how to resolve. How Starting with first things first, you would be confused that ma'am, what exactly is an ethical dilemma? Every one of you is aware about what a dilemma is. Dilemma means where you have to make choices. Ethical dilemma is where you have two morally correct options and you do not know which of them to choose because these choices both are morally correct and correct for different different people. You need to choose from these options that which one is right and which one is wrong. This choice making is your ethical dilemma. How to resolve it? We would understand it. Do not rush. Let us first take an example of which type of ethical dilemmas you can come across. The first ethical dilemma presented here is of a citizen of USA who doesn't have necessary money for surgery of his daughter. He is given this money from some person provided if he takes this bag full of money, it would cause death of someone unknown to him. He is in a moral dilemma here. He wants that he wants to save his daughter on one hand. On the second hand, he doesn't want to harm someone else too. What he or she should do? This is one of the ethical dilemma. Second dilemma is the one we all have faced at least once in our lifetime. There were two students, one of them knew that the student sitting beside was more, far more intelligent. That is why he decided to copy the math test from him. But thanks to the cameras, they both got caught. They were called in the principal's office. The student knew that if he reported that both of them were involved in copying, while the other student was not at all aware about this person copying from his sheet, then both of them will be punished and that intelligent student might lose his scholarship. On the other hand, if he told that he alone was cheating, then he might be restigated and he might not get the computer which his dad promised. He is in a moral dilemma there to choose his interests or the interest of his fellow student what to exactly. choose. The, th the third dilemma here is of a psychologist. One of her clients came and confessed about a murder and where he hid the dead body. She here is in a moral dilemma because she is bounded by the confidentiality clause between the client and the doctor but she is also bounded by law where she cannot hide any kind of criminal offense if it has got to her notice. She is in a moral dilemma here. The last dilemma is a parachute dilemma. There were three people who were riding this parachute. A lady, a man and a little girl. The man knew how to treat cancer. The lady knew how to drive a parachute and the little girl was very innocent. Only two of them can be saved due to only extra two spaces in that parachute. Who of them should be told to sacrifice their lives? difficult right such are the cases of moral or ethical dilemmas and you need to choose about what to do these were some examples related to real life so that you can connect a little bit let us see an example connected to the business lives 
where you would be facing some dilemmas and along those dilemmas you would be making some moral choices okay the can as you are seeing today was not designed as you are looking at it right now at first there were only 10 cans available after that cans became aluminium cans but initially the design of cans was suffering a huge lot of moral dilemmas where firstly the cans were to be designed in such a way that in spite of having very thin material very less raw material it must create enough amount of pressure for the soft drink secondly initially the can were prepared in such a way that it had a separate lid just like we have in our uh, common cold drink bottles which required an opener to open the can this increased the manufacturing cost along a period of time some people came with an idea of a lever which can be pulled out of the can and thrown away and it would create a hole inside this can this was a good idea but the lever which was thrown away caused harm to many people it would create cuts it would create problems in fishes it would create problems in to the but environment as they are not biodegradable these were different environmental problems which were faced over a period of time they came up with the design of a lever which remains put at its place even after opening still there were some problems to be considered where the bottom of the can needed to be designed so that it has proper posture or proper balance when kept at a surface even the opening part of the can was difficult for the people having arthritis or people having long nails like mine they couldn't open the can without breaking the nail these problems also got sorted out in a period of time amongst these period of time amongst these things being accepted they had many moral dilemmas coming upon and they had to choose about what to do they needed to maintain a balance between the organization's profits and the environmental and people's profits difficult task right the major four dimensions which they considered where these four first and foremost the safety of the individuals as i told you the safety was of prominent importance here they need to be safe these cans must not harm anyone normal injuries hand or nose injuries are they also to be considered answer is yes because even minor injuries can lead to infections and these infections can lead to death you do not want your cans to cause death of some people do you the second moral consideration in designing this types of cans was environmental protection you remember that i told you that they introduced a detachable lever this lever would be thrown away but it caused environmental damage damage to fishes harm to different individuals where while they are walking without seeing down could be hurt thirdly damage to land because it was non biodegradable these different damages were caused the third moral concern here is consumer usefulness here the carbonated drink is masked under being useful and a required drink but is it really yes for the profits they thought that it is a good idea to sell a soft drink because it provides pleasure to the consumers but it is ideally masking the unhealthy causes of this particular soft drink so this moral balance also should be considered the reason why diet cokes came into being for considering this things lastly obviously economic benefits of all those concerned with the soft drink industry of all the stakeholders because their lives also depend upon your economic benefit that is why you need to take them into consideration too students 
right now you would be very happy to know that aluminium cans are designed such sophisticatedly that they are causing least amount of harm and at least 6 out of 10 cans are easily recyclable so good news to hear that that we traveled from 10 cans to this long journey where the cans are really recyclable along the journey we made really tough moral choices considering these four dimensions okay moving further to understand that what are different steps in resolving an ethical dilemma how can you resolve an ethical dilemma if you come across one what are the things you need to consider I have a full five step package for you do not worry but I need to explain you these steps with the help of an example of a case study I would like to discuss with you the case of our chemical engineer our chemical engineer was working in environmental department of a computer manufacturing company he got to know that this organization is throwing out a huge amount of lead and arsenic the city in which the factory is located is creating fertilizers uses slurry to create fertilizers these huge amounts of lead and arsenic are causing a huge deal of harm to farmers also to the local people out there here he in his preliminary observation understood that this could harm the society in the long run and also the farmers and the business of fertilizers too he reported this to his supervisor but his supervisor told him to keep shut because more adverse steps taken to control lead and arsenic might be very costly to the organization secondly it might create a bad reputation for the organization also the supervisor told him that we are in legal boundaries do not worry about it this engineer has to report in the next day to the town council about this matter what should he do what should be his choice whether he need to hear to his supervisor or his own gut feeling where he examined that the amounts of lead and arsenic are too high let us move further and try to solve this problem using the steps that our first step would be moral clarity here you need to identify the relevant moral values you wouldn't know what to do you will not be able to give out a justification unless and until you know the moral values associated with this particular problem how would you able to answer without having the knowledge of the answer at all here first you need moral clarity you need to know the different moral values different justifications related to this particular case our chemical engineer did know this he studied the code of ethics written in his book of ethics of chemical engineers where there were three codes of ethics which came across first and foremost honesty he needed to be honest about the situation he thought that the amounts of lead and arsenic are harmful and he needs to report this to the town council second code of ethic told that professionalism is of great value he needs to maintain confidentiality of his organization what to do third and most important one where he has an obligation and responsibility towards the people of that city he must think about the least harm and maximum safety of the people as an engineer he had three moral code of ethics which he had to dwell upon before going to that town meeting so first and foremost step is to know that which are the moral values which you need to look upon second step is conceptual clarity after you get to know the moral values be clear about the key concepts make sure that you get clarity about what is mentioned 
first and foremost clarity what does professionalism indicate are you required to think about the short term benefit of the organization or the long term benefit does confidentiality mean that you cannot speak about the harms of the organization or to the organizations at all what exactly is the line drawn where you need to justify professionalism secondly in thinking about the safety to people is it okay if you are not concerned if people are not harmed very much is it okay if you are not concerned if people are not harmed but only production is harmed indirectly it can cause harm to people where and what you should understand this before moving further that what exactly those code of ethics those moral values are telling and what is their scope what is the limitation study all these things before moving further our third step would be to to be informed about the facts obtain all the relevant information this is in sync with our first step where we got to know the moral values related to this case along with that get to know all the relevant information do proper research right get to know all the relevant information the exact amounts of lead and arsenic which is arsenic being, being thrown out each day make sure that you get to know that which are the processes indulged in doing so how important are these processes in computer manufacturing which is the main aim of your factory how would closing down or shutting down a particular process cause a standstill in this manufacturing factory what exactly will happen identify all the pros and cons do proper research obtain all the relevant information before making a decision make sure you make an informed decision that is a priority moving further to the step 4 analyze all the options identify all the options consider all those which are realistic obviously on the first go you might be feeling that there are only two options with our mr chemical engineer first option to remain shut and maintain confidentiality keep the information to himself about the harmful chemicals and put the people of the village at risk our second option to whistle blow against the supervisor to the town members these are two extremists don't think only about the two extreme options that is why i told you to do research do not only fill out between the two options yes or no right or wrong do not do so find alternative options and if no other options work out you are free to blow the whistle you are free to go against the company you are free to go against professionalism if it is for the better good of others but not until you have any other option how would you know whether you have other options by doing proper research do proper research identify other options you might get to know that the amounts of lead and arsenic which are being thrown out are appropriate and actually the legal standards are actually disrupted and there are problems in legal standards you might get to know that there are some processes which can decrease this amount of lead and arsenic thirdly you can find an option where you can explain the supervisor that in the short time it may cause an economic benefit but if this gets out and it causes harm to all the people then it might cause a problem to the organization and the organization might lose its reputation there are many options to explore first identify those options before taking the decision last and not the least obviously make a well reasoned decision make a reasonable decision that is why i took you through all these steps take the decision whatever you want in an ethical dilemma because both the choices are correct in some way one of the choice with the chemical engineer is professionally correct the second choice is correct for the greater good of the people 
but both the choices are correct whichever you choose is the right answer in an ethical dilemma there are no right answers and wrong answers but the important thing is your reason make a reasonable judgment in this dilemma and you would shine moving further let us try to understand different categories of ethical dilemmas ideally ethical dilemmas are of two categories the first category is right or wrong here there are only two answers with you two options available with you one is the right option second is the wrong option like legal matters like whether i should breach confidentiality or not whether i should breach privacy protection laws or not these are the ethical dilemmas where you have one option which is right and one option which is wrong there are no in between options there are no many options to choose from i'll give you an example here an engineer was retained by one of a multimillionaire to look upon the land beside his old factory obviously he wanted to create new factories attorney of this owner mr x told our engineer that you can be retained in the organization on one condition you need to sign this document that after inspection of the land whatever you get to know you will keep it to yourself this is a document of confidentiality whatever you find in this land you will keep it keep all the results to yourself and you can tell this to someone else only by request of court otherwise you cannot whatever the results are even if the land is harmful for any type of manufacturing even if the land is not a very good decision to build another factory then to you need to keep this to yourself here there is a clear moral dilemma at one place this engineer has the problem of confidentiality at second place he or she is compromising the safety and security of people of that particular surrounding what to choose here there are only two options one is right and other one is wrong for the greater good he should not sign that document because the interest of more amount of people is more important so that option is writer one let's not talk about what he did but here there are only two options one is the right one second is the wrong one in our second category of ethical dilemmas you would be having many options to choose from from that one of the option would be better compared to other options and one of the option would be worse compared to other options you might weigh the pros and cons of all these options before making any decision that is also one type of ethical dilemma okay lastly i would leave with you one ethical dilemma to resolve on yourself using the steps which i taught let us see how much you got to understand okay here is an ethical dilemma of a software engineer he saw that his colleague was downloading some restricted files in the company and he is about to sell this files for his financial help and he is going to open his own other company according to the rules of the organization obviously he needs to immediately report this thing to his supervisor but that colleague is a close friend and he knows that he is so much in need of money right now what should our mr software engineer do what will you do make sure that you make a correct choice you can mention it down in the comments here until then this is dhruvi with signing off thank you so much for listening to me bye until next time